tell you what, what a great morning to be out. Uh, today what I'm doing is I'm going to show you uh, the cast and distance of this rocket bobber and how super sensitive these are. When we say they're great from uh, you know, shore or boat, we definitely mean it. This rocket bobber, what it is, it's a, a long casting, it's a weighted bobber that's long casting. It's designed to get lightweight bait presentations out to where the fish are. So I mean, today I'm just fishing offshore, I'm walking up and down the shoreline. I'm targeting weed patches, things like that. These bluegills are just starting to come in. They're a little skittish yet, so what I'm doing is I'm using a 64th ounce uh, uh, ice fishing jig, a really small ice fishing jig. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking this rocket bobber and I'm keeping it in the locked position. It could be a slip bobber or a fixed position. I'm keeping it in the fixed position. I'm setting it up probably about a foot or so, foot and a half, and I'm just going right around that J hook. I'm wrapping it twice around there. I'm just releasing the end cap there, and so that bobber is not going to slip at all. It's a weighted bobber, so you want to wrap that a couple of times. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tip this uh, ice fishing jig with a wax worm. Like I said, these fish are a little skittish yet, so uh, you know as 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 the uh, spring progresses, they're going to become a little bit more aggressive, and you go with like a jig and a plastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tip this tip this waxy right onto this ice fishing jig and then I'm going to give it a little squeeze. I'm just running it right up the hook like that. Real simple. And then I'm just going to give it a little squeeze just to get the scent going. And now what's going to happen is when I cast out there and a fish grabs the bait, that bobber is going to start to stand up. That's when I can set the hook. So let's see if we can pick up a fish. When we say long casting, I mean, you, you can get 30 to 40 yards out of these bobbers. And they're so super sensitive. There he's right there. There's that fish. Okay, I just seen him move it. Okay, he's right there. I don't expect these fish to be real big. Oh, any second. There he is. Nice little, uh, little bluegill. I don't expect these fish to be real big right now. They're just starting to come in, but uh, as the spring progresses, the bigger fish are going to start moving in. We're just kind of staging right now. Come on. I mean, it's great for any age. Simply, when we say great for any age, we mean great for any age. Here's a little gill. Not a bad little, little blue gill. But that's, that's how easy it is to catch these fish. I'll tell you what, it's super, super simple. Let's try it again. Let's see if we need another one. There he is. You know, one of the problems when you're fishing these back bays is what they'll do is they'll go right into the weeds. So you just kind of give them a little bit of, just keep a tight line and let them, uh, not, not too bad, but just a tight line, a little tension on there and let them work their way out. Now I can pull them back up like that. You'll feel them release out of those weeds. Like I said, they're not the biggest gills right now, but uh, you know they're just starting to come into these bays. But as the spring progresses, the bigger fish will come in. Let's see if we can get one more. There he is. Not a real big fish. But tell you what, that's the sensitivity of these bobbers. They're going to detect even the slightest bite. Want to see sensitivity? T take a look at this little guy. Unbelievable. Okay, little fella. Here we go. Let's see if we can pick up one more. Boy, it's just so easy. Just got to watch so they want to run and head right to those weeds. Just keep the rod tip up like this. Keep a little pressure on and let them work their way out. bad little gill. If you've never tried the rocket bobber, I'll tell you what, get out there and uh, give it a shot. These things are just incredible for panfish. They're great from shore, great from boat. 